McNeese State has a tradition of winning, so even though a 7-4 and four season isn't bad in most places, in Lake Charles, that record a year ago fell way below expectations. It was a dying year, you know, for McNeese, going 7-4. and four. Uh, A lot of people expected a lot of us out of us that year, going undefeated the year before. So it was pretty much down, a down year. I don't think we were that focused last year. year before last, you know, we had some leaders, not much talking. Um, last year, we just we thought we'd go all the way. Two of the, you know, four losses that we had last year were about three points, and then, you know, we certainly had a chance in the Central Arkansas game. We were right there at the end of three quarters and just kind of let it get away. But um, so at times, I thought we played really good. Uh, we probably needed to be a little bit more consistent, though. While the record wasn't great, the Cowboys were record-breaking last season. Their offense set school marks for passing offense, total offense, and scoring. And senior gunslinger Derek Faru is back to lead the explosive McNeese offense in 2009. I think we can do a lot. You know, anyway, Derek's a good player, so as soon as he touches the ball, you know, the game can change at any moment. Well, it can be real good. I mean, Todd got talent. I mean, we have talent everywhere. And we're receivers, we got guys stepping up. Faru and senior tailback Todrick Penland will once again be a terrific one-two punch but that it's only if a young offensive line comes together quickly. We're going to be younger than we've been in a while. Uh, we do have some experienced players back at some pretty critical positions, but uh, across the board we'll be younger than what we've been the last uh, two years for sure. But uh, we think we have some talented players and a uh, great attitude and a great energy. And uh, I saw. I think the, the, the good thing about young players is, is you can see them get better. We got a lot of young guys that, went, uh, that came out ready you know, to play. I think we approved a lot, you know, um, saying that we did have a lot of starters leave. But we got a, uh, a whole bunch of young guys step up and they came out and play. While the Cowboys offense figures to be explosive this season, they also might have to be. That's because the defense is returning just three starters from a squad that gave up almost 30 points a game last season. It's very disappointing knowing, looking back at tradition and Magnet's defense, you know, we play uh, pretty sound defense, so it was very disappointing. But... I look at it as like the defense, well, we gave up too many points, I think. Uh, so we really didn't have a chance to win. The offense put up numbers, and we let uh, the opponents score too many points, I think. I think it's fun in the off season and in spring training to kind of see uh, what kind of uh, uh, mental makeup you know, will make up this team, you know, see the leadership evolve and uh, see the attitude evolve. And I think that both the leadership and the attitude and the energy are all going to be good. So, uh, you know, hopefully we can stay healthy and, uh, and, and, you know, make some noise this year. If the D can hold up their end of the bargain and the offense does what everyone thinks it will, then the Cowboys should meet and exceed their normally high expectations, which would mean another Southland title and a trip to the playoffs. In Lake Charles, Paul Boron for CST Tonight.